Kia ora, welcome to my happy place. If you like today's video, please give me a thumbs up, leave a comment so I know that you've been, don't be shy, and please enjoy. I've come on to do pick a sticks. Um, I've gessoed my page and so let's get into it. Make, mark, make marks with corrugated cardboard. Right, now. Right, I'm back and I've got my cardboard. And I think I'm going to use some of my inks to make marks with it. I've never done this before, so one assumes it's going to work. Yeah. Cool. Different colour. Awesome. I had to go and look for it because I'd put it away. It's very annoying when you put things away and you can't find them. Or they're not right at hand. Right. Different colour here. Mm, yeah. I don't know if it will transfer onto my um, ink pad, so I'll use a different bit. Well, at least I'm getting some colour down first this time. Last time they were not very kind to me at all. Awesome. Right. We use one more color. So, go to the road. Um, I like that. Right, that's number one done. I'll just put those aside. Just put those back up there. Right now. Right now. Number two is use black gesso to cover something. Mm. Well, I don't have any black gesso because mine keeps on um, going mouldy and I do not like that at all. So I threw it all out. So we'll have to use black paint, which I'm okay with. And just put something up there, and this getting lumps in it too, by the looks of it. Um, right, what are we going to do? The paintbrush. Um, And just do a little bordery type thing around it because I'm not keen on covering things up when you've just started. It's just too hard. out of the road. Right. Add text. Just write something. 
something out of a book that I bought specially for this. And it's, um, use a glue stick for this. Just get a bit of paper to put on here to protect this page. It's another lovely day here today. It's my husband just shutting the garage door. Lovely sunny day. My glue stick. Just get another one. I'll be down and get that in a minute. Now we're getting all ready to go camping again. My children have come home from Australia. They're all very tired and All holidayed out. The heat really got to them in Australia, so they're all having a very relaxing day today. Was really really bad reading it said add texture but the pages that I've put down adds texture so we'll just go with that I'm sure I see what I want to see sometimes so I can just bring it up just a tiny bit no I leave it there right Use any water soluble medium. Right. What have I got? I found found my water soluble um, crowns, wax crowns that I was um, given. So I'm just going to. Add a bit of colour around. And my total mishmash of colour this time, I think. A bit of green. And a bit of blue. Oh, this one's a bit broken. Right, now we'll just add some water to it, I think. Let me take a little brush here. Some water. Yeah. It's all soluble, so it's all going to mush together. Try not to make mud out of it.
Right. Trying to leave the lines of the um, stamping on there. Oops. Just to make a bit of mud, but never mind. Quite liking that actually. Very rainbow, rainbowish. Right, let's dry it up a bit. We're on to number five now. Add hearts. Hmm. found a um, envelope here so I think I'm just going to cut some cut some hearts out of it on this. Awesome. Not the best of shape cutters, but we will try. different sizes. This is a particularly nice pattern on the um, inside of this envelope. It's just all little, all little, sh mm. see if it'll focus. All just all little dashes. Okay. There we go. How many have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six. We better have another one. They have an odd number. Not. I've got a hunk out of it. Never mind. We'll yeah, right, we're going to do. We'll just overlap it, I think. Overlap it like that. Just to cover up that little bite out of it. And a little one up here. little one here, this one here, this one here, and that one there. Oh, that looks quite cool. Until something else comes along and upsets the apple cart. Right. Yeah, so we're hoping that this lovely weather is going to last when we go out camping again. Just put you right there on the edge like that. Whoops. 
My eldest daughter has come home with a very bad back and knee. So she's not happy about that. Just waiting to see the chiropractor tomorrow. find my stabilo or now this is a not I don't think this is a watercolor one no it's not but never mind I'm just going to do a rough mm, rough outline and they turn out very rough with my um just see if I can give it a bit of a my hands don't like writing or drawing at all unfortunately so everything's a little bit on the rough side a little bit of a smush Hunt for my stibula wall. I'm going to have to order another one from America, but the only trouble is it makes them very expensive. And I haven't been able to find where else to. to buy them So the little kids all had a great time. Had spills on their bikes and come home with skin off here and skin off there. But because my sister in law and her brother, my my brother in law, he does up bikes, so he had a bike there for all of them to ride. Which is really cool. Mm. One more. Mm. That pops it out a little bit. Right. Right. Now we'll pick out something else that's going to totally. Add a border, and I've already added a border, so we'll just put that one aside. I've decided. Add black or white, so we can add some white to it, I assume. Just bring the palette back. All right. Now, just bring out a little bit of something to. To add some white with, I need some circles. Yes. 
adds to the background. Oh, I think that'll do. out of the row because so I'll use that on something else and I'll give this a dry. Alright, well that's, that's dry enough. I'll just bring it down up so you can see what it's looking like hopefully. Whoops, wrong way. That's what it's looking like. Right, now on to number seven. Add an image with a homemade stamp. Hmm. We may as well continue the theme, I think. And I will add some some bronze. Put that there and spread it out. I've got a homemade heart here. So I might as well just keep the theme going and hmm, I don't know if that's gonna show up. Try not to put too much soap on it. Um paint on it. Just adds to the background if nothing else. Put out far too much paint. That's okay, I won't use it on oh, one of my books. Right, I think that's enough. Move that aside. And I'll just give this a wipe uh, a dry off. Right, that's looking cool. I'm quite liking that. Now this is number eight. Use some happy mail. Hmm. I've fished out some washi tape here, I think. Just some pieces of washi tape around the place will be well, I've got a feeling I've lost the <clears throat> to use my other other hand. Right. I'm just going to put some bits of washi tape around, I think. See, I always say to myself, use washi tape, and I never do, so. Just adds to the background. That will be enough of that. That's using Happy Mail. Up to number nine. Add buttons. Add buttons. Right, I don't have a button punch that I can punch out some little ones. So let's 
see if I, how many I've got this colour. Do I have another one? I do. Right. Now, I'm just going to stick those down like that, hopefully. My glue gun is not on, so I want to glue them down, but this glue here is pretty good. I still haven't filled it, so... Use three colours of acrylic paint. Really? Don't know if I want to do that. Okay, three colours of acrylic paint. What am I going to do? If there's any yellow in here. Bit of yellow. Bit of yellow. A bit of. Turquoise, and a bit of pink, um, and what am I going to do with them? I think that I am going to just stamp with them. I'll just blur that out, put it around. Put some on your hearts. Okay, that's yellow. Pink around the place. Right. Now, look out turquoise. Turquoise. So just put that around the place. There we go. And I've got some lovely colours there to use on something. Right, I've dried it off and it's a new year so write the date on it so I know that this is the first of the new year and see if I can get my hand to work and it is the 6th of the 1st 19 Just lift it up so you can see the background. So I'm quite happy with it. I think it turned out quite cool. Right, that's the first for the new year. And um, I'll catch you again soon. 
Thank you for being with me. Kia kaha, stay strong, and I'll catch you again soon.